total and complete care. For the past two decades, Linda has been taking care of her husband who has multiple sclerosis. If we hadn't had in-home supportive services, we wouldn't be here today. I don't know where we'd be. Linda gets paid by the state to be Bill's caretaker, but under Governor Brown's revised budget plan, she learned her hours and pay could get slashed. The Health and Human Services Network of California breaks down the cuts. In-home supportive services could face a $225 million cut. CalWORKS faces an $880 million cut. Medi-Cal, a $1.2 billion cut. And child care services could be cut $453 million. So I'm just very concerned about families and children and elderly people who do need those services. Chris Applegate is a director of community services agencies in Stanislaus County where one in three people rely on some type of assistance. It's going to be an impact very much to the poorest and the most low income in our area. Linda says she uses her salary for basic necessities, mostly covering Bill's medical needs. We have to pay for electricity. We have to pay for insurance. So what, are, what do we cut out? Do we give up our car and not go anywhere? The whites fear Bill may end up in a nursing home, but even then, Linda says there's a wait list, and that's simply not an option for them. Janito, KCRA 3 reports.